Kraken slabs. It can be an ominous feat to try to attempt, but at some point in your collecting, you are going to have a reason to crack one of these guys open. I will say that CGC is probably the hardest one to do, PGX being the easiest. Those things pretty much fall apart, at least they're older ones. CVCS change their case every week, so it kind of depends uh, which one you, you have on the table at that moment. Those tend to be a little easier as well. I'm actually preparing this one for a signing event, and I'm also not quite happy with the grade, so that's a double reason to uh, try to get it out of here. I did have this pressed at one point. I think there's still a pressable defect on there, so I'm gonna get it out of there, clean it up, get it ready for uh, pressing, and then window bag it as I've shown in a previous video. So I have here a couple tools that you're gonna need. Gloves, as always, which we'll get to a little bit. Um, some people use flathead screwdrivers. I really like chisels. If you have a set of chisels lying around, they're perfect for being tapered, and then they're also wide enough so that when you get in there, you can, you can do a little prying action, which you're gonna see. And then to get it out of the encapsulation, you're going to need an X-Acto knife or a razor blade, uh, whichever one, sharper the better. And that's going to be the part that is a little bit uh, nerve wracking or can be uh, a little, I guess, uh, worrisome when you're, when you're trying to cut this thing out using a razor blade. And of course, razors and comic books don't really go well together. So let's get into this. Uh, I also have a little tiny hammer. I probably won't need that, but we'll see where it goes. It depends. On the case. So there's this seam where this thing is pressed together. I don't really have a, a place that I always start. I think we can probably start at the top. I always kind of, if, if it's an older case, you can look at kind of the weak points. So I also, one thing, I have a cutting mat here. It's something I always work on this surface. Let's see if this guy will be, this guy will be a little easy for my demonstration today. That would be really nice. So you want to find that seam, kind of start working at it. And you'll see that I already got pretty much in there. And of course, I, I picked the corner. I'm away from the comic. And I'm going to get my chisel in there. And I'm going to start. You kind of hope that it doesn't break like that. Like you see that the corner broke. Sometimes it'll just split completely. But once you're in there, you can pry it. You know, put, the, put this in there and give it a nice little twist and then the, it's gonna separate. And so this is what you want on this side. You see how that came apart on this side? Now I can put the chisel in there. Be very cautious of uh, where the comic is. And continue to pry. Okay, well, sometimes it comes off as one piece, sometimes it comes off as multiple. Here's the tag, I'm gonna set that aside. Um, I also haven't kind of figured out what to do with the, with the census. Like I, I have a number of these that I've cracked out and uh, I haven't really told them. Don't tell anybody. But I think at one point I'm going to send them all my numbers and say, can you take these off the census because I no longer have them in the case. All right. So that was the case. All right. This guy's going to go in the trash. Again, sometimes it splits completely down the center and it comes out the side. This time it broke and I just slid it out the top. And then here's what you have. So this is the inner encapsulation. Um, you can see that it's kind of, it's been like heat pressed, you know. It's basically two pieces of uh, plastic that sandwich the book in there. So it's still pretty stable in here. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. So chisel, like I said, works great. I didn't need this. This is actually really good for, I think it's uh, PGX books that have two little tabs on the top. You kind of just crack those off and then the, the whole book pretty much comes out of there. And then this guy, sometimes I'll just give it a couple taps on the side if I'm having trouble getting the chisel there. Now for this part, I'm gonna put on my gloves because I will be handling the book at some point. I'm going to also, again, I have my cutting mat. I'm going to clean the surface a little bit. Make sure I don't have any plastic chips laying here. I'm on my self-healing cutting mat. This is a vantage one. It's probably a generic one off of uh, Amazon. And then I also have a, a thick piece of cardboard. And you can use a backer board or something like that. You technically, I mean, you probably could get away without doing this, but it gives me a little extra peace of mind. So I'm going to use this to kind of just protect the edge of the board. I'm going to cut down this side, and if you want to try to get the book, 
uh, as far this way as possible, you can just give it a couple taps like that. And what that'll do is that'll give you some extra room so you're gonna cut. So you basically, you have to use your knife to cut on the inside of this seal right here so that you can get the book out. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cover the side there and then I'm gonna let you stick with me through this exasperating part. So I have my exacto knife and uh, hopefully my head is not obscuring you, but I'm gonna get in there, press down firmly to hold the book in place. All right, let's see if I got all the way through. There might be some spots where I didn't clear. All right, and then I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna try to cut the top of the rest of the top of them. Okay, you can see I pretty much made it all the way through. Now that you have a groove in there, you don't necessarily have to worry about, you know, slipping and hitting the book. There's still a little piece that's hanging up right there. Come on, buddy. Okay, so now I've cut the strip off. And when you, uh, you can now see the book, right? So you also likely have to do one of the corners. I'm gonna do this top edge over here. So I'm gonna put this down over here. It's, it's really kind of a must to have the cutting mat and a very sharp, very sharp exacto knife. You see, I got kind of close to the book on that one. My, my uh, backer board saved me. Okay, so that's pretty much split right there. Now, should be able to completely get the book out. Ta-da! There we go. I'll set this guy down right here. And there's the case. See a better view. Book is intact, so I successfully got this guy out of there, and I'm gonna take some peeks at it to see uh, what I can fix. It's a good looking copy. I'm not sure why it, uh, it hit 9.0. I, I think it's in the 9.2 to 9.4 range. So hopefully I can press it one more time and uh, get it up there. Okay, well, thanks for joining me on this short little video. Uh, maybe practice on a slab you don't care about as much, but again, at some point you're gonna have to uh, go down this path. Take care, guys.